Don't be discouraged by the speed of the form. We'll look at the movements in slow motion. Notice that his body rises and sinks as he punches high and low. And the body turns, his waist turns from left to right as it strikes. Notice here that the elbow bends and comes out. It bends and circles and comes up. Bends and circles and comes down. Again, the front punches and sinking into the legs. A crescent kick, jump and strike. Notice how the arms spring up on the jump. This is a tricky move. You're twisting the opponent's arm and then striking. The weight on the rear leg, the front toe touches the ground. The rear hand in a claw by the inside of the head. Striking the arm of the incoming punch. Notice how one foot moves behind the other. You can imagine an eagle striking the enemy with its wings. Notice the turning of the body. Front punches. Those who practice Xing Yi will recognize this type of punch. The weight remains on the rear leg. You punch after you step. These are very short, abrupt punches and very powerful. Jumping crescent kick. You kick the opposite hand. Notice that the arms are moving in a vertical plane. He jumps off of the right foot and kicks with the right foot. Grabbing the arm, tripping the leg, and kicking. His left hand is in a beak and he's kicking with the bottom of his foot. Notice the hand curves. Foot comes out straight. Running and jumping into a soaring eagle stance. The palms, in this case, face down. A crescent kick ending with the front toe on the ground and the weight in the rear. strikes using the edge of the claw. Notice the turning of the body. The other hand always protects the body. The weight is in the rear. Throat strike to the rear and then groin strikes turning to the side. Careful not to put too much momentum into this, otherwise you'll spin and go off balance. Sink into your legs. And the last movement, the set of punches. Notice the turning of the body and how the strikes curve and turn at different angles. This will be shown in more detail later. The beginning. Turn the body to the right and then rock the body generating a vibration upward. Bring the arms up and the right foot comes up near the left knee, toe pointing down. Palms come together in front of the chest. Sink into the left leg stretching out the right arm and leg to the back. Shift into the right leg, the hands cross with the left hand on the inside. The left toe lightly touches the ground. Drop into the soaring eagle stance. The weight is in the right leg, the palms and elbows face up. Now try it on your own, facing the same direction as Tseng.
An example of the fighting application. Jump onto the right foot. The edge of the left hand is striking. Then strike with the right palm. Notice the thumb is tucked in. Then strike with the left palm and the body rises. Then with the right fingertips, the left hand protects under the right arm. Now try it on your own. The weight is evenly distributed. Notice that the right fist is near the right hip. The right foot comes in. The body is still low. And notice how the body turns with the strikes. Another turn. Now the self-defense. 